Pokemon X and Y came out almost 11 years ago, feeling old yet, and it was iconic. It was a boom for Pokemon's popularity after okay results from Black and White and Black and White 2, which made an impact on the series for years to come. Many who played X and Y, they came out as kids, are now young adults finding their footing in life, and while some of them may have stopped playing Pokemon by now, or maybe some of them have even forgotten their time with these games, there are still those who continued persevering on. Don't forget. And I was one of those people. For my 9th birthday, I got a 2DS with Y pre-installed on it, and I was hyped to play it after watching playthroughs on it. I used to even fall asleep re-watching these playthroughs, and with all of that excitement built up, I finally had my first experience with Pokemon, with my own team, and with my own story to boot. I'll share a bit more of my first team later on. To mention. Well, it had a huge impact on me, to say the least. In case you don't believe me, I can remember what Pokemon certain random trainers have, like the Relicanth in Grant's Gym, or random NPC dialogue like the mention of Gary, which I found especially funny hearing it on people's X and Y Easter eggs videos, given how easily I found it. Furthermore, I even remember where certain items are, even hidden items, coming from a casual player's point of view. I was immersed in the world and spent my time looking around, which definitely wasn't because I got stuck in a lot of puzzles for an unseemingly long amount of of time or anything like that. No, not at all. Don't you so, so. What do you want? Well, not, so, so. No, that's that's embarrassing. Don't tell them where I got stuck. Stuck on Viola's gym. Peed out Barrow's lead you. Stuck at Furthrow Palace. Didn't know how to get down the cliff. Finding optimal path in Grant's gym. Finding his way through the Flexion Cave. Okay, that, that's embarrassing. Not sure why you found it necessary to show that. Whoa, people are responding really positively to it. How do I know? I, I don't, but, but I've been meaning to give you a raise anyways, due to some non-existent pressure I've been getting. So here, in honor of X and Y's 11th anniversary, almost, I'll give you 11 patches for showing that. What is wrong with you? In any case, perhaps the single most satisfying part of the game for me was to finally clear the blackout in Lumio City. My non-existent assistant shared it earlier, but I got stuck at Furfield's palace. Besides the puzzle being difficult, the real problem was that I at some point forgot about the option to save. So each time I got past it, I would reset. Sometimes I wouldn't even bother and I would just explore Lumio City, but was still frustrated at the the fact that you can't explore past certain boundaries. Something really, really. I can't tell you how cathartic it was to finally unlock the entire city and go look at the places I couldn't see earlier. It made the fifth gym all the more memorable for me and that point of the game just really stood out in my mind. However, it just really can't be put into words of how it made me feel at the time, and even just looking back at it. As I said earlier, I'm going to share what team I had, but I can't really say that it's going to be 100% accurate because I don't really remember what my playthrough exactly looked like, but I could give you an idea. I definitely chose Chespin as my starter. I definitely also used Fletchling. I think I used one of the monkeys at one point. I definitely used the Gift Lucario and the Squirtle from Professor Sycamore, so that's already four Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I also used Pancham, so that's five. But I cannot remember the last one. Maybe I was using the fossil Pokemon at that point. And then I definitely remember that I switched out my last slot for Gautel. So that was basically my team. Important. As I've been going through memory lane with you guys, there is something that I've purposefully avoided mentioning until now. But now I think it's the right time to say it. Despite the influence it had on me, I'm sure for many others as well, there was something still missing all these years. Recognition. Despite these games meaning so much to me, they are still disregarded by the fandom at large for being too basic and undercooked, which while I can understand where they're coming from, it still rubbed me the wrong way. I mean, didn't no one else spend so much time with PR videos, which are surprisingly fleshed out? Didn't no one else, despite not knowing what Super Training was, spend hours on completing all of its minigames or spend a lot of time trying to figure out a route's puzzles or, or spending time battling at the cafes? Was I really the only one who'd randomly go through acquaintances and people People from all over the world and share some O powers with them? Maybe check what messages they have public or even learn what acquaintances meant from X and Y? Okay, maybe that last one is just me. But all of these small things built up for me and I appreciate them even till today. It was difficult to cope with the fact that I saw no one else who appreciated the games like I did, but I eventually came to accept that. But then something changed and that change came with the Pokemon Presents. A Presents that no one expected. Pokemon Legend CA. Suddenly, excitement for X and Y began to rise just a little bit. People were starting to get a bit nostalgic for these games and starting to replay them. And those that originally grew up with them, all grown up now, are more excited than ever for these new potential entries into the franchise. This marks a new era for Pokemon X and Y. 
No longer the forgotten games lost in time, but now it's at the forefront for all fans to be excited for. Now, I don't know if Legend Z will finally include Rhyhorn Racing, scrapped video idea, or bring back roller skating somehow, but whatever it does, I'm sure it'll continue on the lore that so many of us would like to see complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like, check out why I think Pokemon X and Y is so underrated, where I go more into detail as to why I believe they aren't as beloved by the wider fanbase. And have a wonderful day. Bye!